This is another X power amplifier, and the the owner uh, said that there was a a burning smell for a while, although it still played. And then uh, after power down and power up, that uh, it uh, just made some sort of funny growling sound, and not very musical was the description. So we take the cover off, and we can see uh, immediately we've got some issues here uh, and it's it's one of the classic problems here uh, this this capacitor is blown and uh, these two capacitors actually they're related to the voltage doubler circuit you see it's it's made a right mess here the electrolytics uh, gone over everywhere even the even the top cover so these two capacitors related to the voltage doubler so, so the voltage doubler section, uh, you know, there's, there's, I see it uh, blown all the time, and uh, you know, I think there's some components in there that are under really underrated for the job. And what happens is the the transistors they either blow open, or they blow short. Now we looked at a, an expert recently where the output voltage was low; it was about 1.6, 1.7 volts before. Um, now that uh, doesn't cause any damage to these capacitors, but when I see this capacitor blown, what it tells me is the transistor's gone short, and then the the voltage on the output of this um, uh, regulator circuit goes high. It's probably somewhere between eighty and hundred volts. Uh, now these capacitors they're rated at, they're rated at fifty volts, and uh, so when you present them with such a high voltage, this is what happens. They they just pop. Um, and as I say, I've seen it so many times before. Um, so uh, we'll power it up and see what we can measure, um, and then uh, you know we'll, we'll dismantle the the voltage doubler circuit, get these capacitors out, and uh, see where we go from there. So let's uh, see how we're looking in terms of voltage. So we've got our usual uh, test strip here, and. Uh, there, the plus side's okay, measuring plus 44 volts. So that, I bet, is related to that capacitor. If we check the other side, there we go, minus 78 volts. So we've got 78 volts across a capacitor that's really rated 50 volts, and uh, this is what happens. Um, let's see, we check the other rails. 15, 15, Five, and then the main rails are okay. We can see the fuses are good. Um, so at this stage, I'm hoping that everything on the power amp side is okay. And if we deal with this uh, voltage doubler, then we should be should be in good shape. Um, so I'll I'll dig into this. We'll figure out what parts are dead. Remove these capacitors and see where we go. All right, so I've been into the voltage doubler uh, regulator circuit, and you know the usual uh, Zener diodes, transistors, they are all they, they were all blown, so I had to replace them. Um, and I, I I replaced the Zeners with a through hole Zener. Uh, it's a higher power rated part, uh, and uh, you know hopefully that should help things uh, in the future. Um, so we've done that, and they. Uh, Although it was only the negative rail that had blown, I, I replaced both sides. I replaced the negative and positive rail because we know that we know it's a weak area. And then we obviously had to replace the the main reservoir uh, again. Only one of them was blown, but I've replaced both. And if you look at the the blue part here, was what was in there, and these are. You know they're fairly decent capacitors, um, but they're they're rated uh, two thousand hours at eighty five degrees. Um, yeah, that's all right. The ones I put in, you know, because we're in an environment here where things are getting a bit warm, these are ten thousand hours at one hundred and five degrees, um, and you can see there's a substantial difference in the size of these capacitors. So that's a decent upgrade. And should be uh, should give us a good extended life as well. So I've done all that stuff and then powered up and uh, uh, still had some magic smoke actually. 
uh, and that was coming from uh, one of these capacitors here. And now these are these are filter capacitors in the voltage doubler section. So I've just replaced all of those also. And the same story, you know, the the small blue one here is what was in there, and then uh, the this uh, black one is what we've replaced. And these are that identical value, identical voltage. So y you know, you you you're getting something for, uh, or you're compromising on something with the the smaller size. I think the ESR would be higher and. Uh, you know, maybe the, the lifespan's not going to be as good. So, so we've put in a, a, a decent uh, solid part. I've been round also and uh, uh, checked the ESR of, of the other capacitors and replaced the usual ones that go dry. So we should be in good shape there. And I've still got my still got my usual uh, uh, series resistor in place of the main fuse. Um, so I've not powered up the power amplifier section yet. And I'm still, we still don't know if there's anything that could be wrong in that. Uh, so that's really the next stage. Before we jump to that, I'll just make a quick uh, measurement on the, the voltage rails. So that's 45 volts there. That was the one that was reading minus uh, 78, I think, before. So that's pretty good now, minus 45. <clears throat> and the plus 45 was okay before as well, but it's, that's shown good too. Uh, so I think next stage will I need to put in the um, heat sink clips for the power transistors, and then we'll we'll dare power the thing up and see uh, see that everything's okay there. So that's the next step. I'll go and screw these uh, these clips in. This is some time later. Then um, what happened was I put the put the clips for the transistors in place, and then uh, attempted to power up. And it just refused to power up. Um, it just went into sort of protect mode. And so then I'm thinking, okay, well, there, there must be something wrong with the, the power amp side. And went and looked at all the usual places there. And it was all good. And it took me a while to find what the problem was. But what it actually is, is we've got these um, thermal pads, these insulators on the uh, transistors. And one of them here has got a little puncture. You can see that. Um, and I found that there was some metal swarf from the chassis that was just sitting in that little that little uh, uh, puncture there. And so every time I tightened up the heat sinks, I had a short to the chassis. And, uh, you know, it just went into protect mode. So we, we, we found that anyway. Um, but that, that's been there since the factory. Um, it's just been lurking there um, all that time. Um, so... It, it does power up now, it's just fine. Um, and what I want to do uh, just before we wrap up here is to uh, just to check the actual voltages on the voltage doubler section. Since we've been doing quite a lot of work in there, we really want to go in and probe quite carefully. Uh, so we'll check the, the voltages there uh, on uh, power up and just make sure they're exactly what we're looking for. So we'll take a single capture and I'll just uh, hit the switch at the back and we should see, yeah. And that's exactly as we expect um, for this circuitry, looking at the simulation. Uh, you know, the yellow the yellow there is a doubling of the sort of main voltage uh, rail on the AC side. And then the green line is a stabilised, that's your stabilised 45 volts. So you can see this is the this is the voltage doubler doing its thing, and and yeah, it takes it takes a number of cycles to actually get up to the level, uh, and then it just kind of sits there, and uh, you know we the the sort of uh, uh, it's not regulated but stabilised side uh, tracks the bottom of that curve and then just clamps at the forty five volts. So that's I'm quite happy with that. That's as we expect. Uh, and uh, I'll go. I'll quickly do it on the negative side also, and just make sure everything's hunky dory there. This is set up to look at the negative uh, rails then. So again, just powering up, and we see again that's quite happy. Uh, you know, the yellow trace drops down to about minus 80 volts, and the green trace clamps at the 45. 
Um, so that's that's what it's meant to do. I mean, it's it's a circuit, a piece of circuitry that I, I don't like at all. It's it's uh, not very robust, but um, that's what we have, um, and uh, it's, it's doing the job it's intended to do here. So anyway, that seems all good, and uh, I think the next stage we're we're ready to put the covers on and uh, we'll have a have a play of some music before we before we wrap up. Here we are then, covers are on, and I've got an 8VS uh, amplifier here I'm just using as a preamp. So let's power up and uh, see what we have. <laughs> 